Alright guys, I'm going to try to record some PSVR footage, and I know this isn't probably the best way to do it, but uh, I don't know how well you'll be able to see the screen. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to play through a level or two and kind of explain what's going on, and, and you can see it. Okay, Alright, got to get my the visor situated here. Sometimes there could be like like sweat like on the <laughs> on the um, the plastic uh, where you're looking basically and it can cause like a glare I have that issue sometimes so and also just having it on tight enough or set on right I don't know, it might not make any sense, but I just got these move controllers, and I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the, if the game's going to be loud enough or not. I've got headphones on, but I've got the audio through the TV, too, so hopefully that'll pick up some of it. And the experience isn't the same as watching it on the TV. I think it is cool that you can kind of follow along on the TV, though, so other people can see what you're doing. But um, hopefully it's motion controllers used them on a demo earlier for uh, Job Simulator and it was great and uh, so hopefully they'll be synced up right for this. It's going to be my first time playing this game. Um, I played a demo of it but this is this is the full version and this game is Until Dawn Rush of Blood and um, Until Dawn is a PlayStation 4 game that I have also where it's like a survival horror game but basically you are um, you make choices and stuff for the characters and you kind of see how it unfolds and uh, anyways this is totally different where you're basically riding it's like a rail shooter like an arcade shooting game basically where you're going on a roller coaster through a uh, like haunted houses basically and there's like evil clowns and stuff that's coming at you that you can shoot with guns and so I've got these move controllers and I should be able to point wherever you know with my right hand with my left hand and shoot in that direction and shoot in this direction and I haven't been able to experience that yet with this game. I played the demo, and I only had the, the DualShock controller. And uh, it basically ties your left and your right hand together, and so you, you aim together with them. But now I can go in separate directions, so it's a little more interesting there. And uh, this game, uh, when you're going on the roller coaster, some people talk about having like motion sickness from the VR and stuff. I haven't really felt it too much, but if you move really fast, I've, I've had like a little dizzy feeling. And you can kind of feel it like in your stomach, like when you go down on a roller coaster, like in real life, basically, you kind of get that effect a little bit. And, uh, but yeah, this is a horror game, so there's, you know, jump scares, stuff's going to be popping out, and it's going to startle me. And it might not seem that startling on the screen, but when you're wearing the, the headset, you know, it feels like stuff's a lot more closer to you. You've got, like, a sense of the, the depth more, so I just want to get this started, and I'm going to try to try to try to work through this here so extend your arms like this model then press okay hopefully I did that right oh yeah it's awesome how it emulates like where your hands are like when I'm looking at the headset I don't know if it shows it on the screen but I can see uh, the hands with the guns I can turn them around and it turns the guns around you know however I move them it moves them on the on the screen that I'm watching here so let's try a new story okay let's go with uh, I don't know normal I guess and I can see like my legs in front of me like in the cart and I know on the screen it should follow a little bit where I'm looking and it's like uh, You'll hear something to the left or something, so you'll look to the left. And so the sound, I've got headphones on, the sound goes really great with the, uh, the 360 VR, you know, being able to look around. The sound adds a lot to it, too. Oops. All right. Reload and shoot. Okay. Show me what buttons reload and what buttons shoot. I'm going to turn up the uh, <clears throat> headphones a little louder so it's blaring in my ears. <laughs> can make you a little more startled, but that's the fun of the game, right? 
it made me jump a little bit earlier even before I started recording this and like I said I've already played the demo and yeah let's go All right, see, I haven't played this level in the demo, though, so I don't know what to expect at all here. Unsafe, keep out. It's just so cool. I can look behind me, you know, you can... You can get low, and I get lower on there. Okay, my aim's not the best. Shooting these ducks. I'll have to remember to reload. It shows how much how many bullets I have down at the bottom, I guess. I mean I have like an infinite amount of bullets, but you've got five shots and then you have to reload, I guess. You shoot this stuff for points, the stuff with the stars on it, with the bullseyes. Look around for bonuses to shoot. And after a while, I'm sure your hands can get tired from holding these controllers. I can already kind of feel it in my arms. I guess arms, not hands. <laughs> I mean, already this is fun, and this is kind of just like a tutorial that I'm going through. Stuff everywhere to shoot. So, I mean, once we get into the actual game, there's enemies that come at you that will kill you, so, I mean... And you'll have to, like, restart. So, it's challenging. It's gonna be challenging, and then... I can change the difficulty. Like, I... Put it on normal. To begin with. Oh. Oh, come on. I'm loving this though, guys. I mean, the VR headset's so awesome. This is really fun. I can't explain how much fun this is. Just doing this. Just target practice. Just need to remember to reload. Okay, so this one I gotta I gotta maneuver my head to get through these things. Oh, we're going uphill. Oh uh. Whoa, <laughs> see I almost lost my balance. No, you're probably wondering if I can shoot him in the back of the head, and I really want to, but <clears throat> I don't want to restart, like, if it makes me do that. <laughs> nice knowing you, kid. <laughs> Here we go. There's a... Not really seeing much to shoot at. There's something. Ah, I missed it. Dang it. Oh, 
Oh, crap. Okay, I don't like this guy. Whoa, that creeped me out. Okay, now I've actually got real guns. It's like I was shooting BB guns before. Now I've got a real pistol. And there's like smoke coming out of it. It's got more of a gun sound now than it did. Yeah, there's probably some purposes to, to get high points. I don't know if that helps you unlock stuff or... Hello. Okay, she was there, now she's gone. Okay. It's got stuff flying at me here. It's really loud in my ears. <laughs> the rumbling. Oh. Now it's all calm. There's blood on that pillow. That too. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, it's right next to me. Oh my god. Oh. Who is that woman? It's kind of mysterious. I know it's gonna be more of you. No! Whoa! They're lunging at me. Oh, come on, I can't hit any of those. <laughs> so I'm just kind of getting into the game now. I guess I'm not really talking and explaining much, but it's, it's fun and it's intense. Creepy, it's like in my ear, they're laughing like they're right next to me or right behind me. <laughs> I just want them to die. They're coming at me. Shoot the balloon. I wonder if there's somebody that's got like a perfect score that's like shot that sh that like hits every target. That would be insane. And I can't imagine how much harder it gets when the difficulty goes up. I mean, I think that one of the difficulties was actually called insane. It probably is insane. Okay. Kind of 
blood and meat hooks. Okay, that's creepy. There's a saw blade and a dummy's head there. Get into some creepy scenery. This is really like if you're walking through like a haunted house on Halloween. It's pretty cool. Saw blades and gas. I'm gonna try to dodge that stuff. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. We just stopped and all the lights went out. Can't see anything. Whoa! Okay, I think he got me. I didn't know that I could even shoot. Well. I don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. Okay, I think that was the end of the level. Oh, B plus. Well, I guess I'm satisfied with that. That was pretty intense, guys. But uh, let me know what you think. I'm gonna try to record some other VR games and uh, definitely wanna play this more. So I'm gonna stop this video here. Ugh.